on our website, kvia.com, with Iris Lopez. She joins us from the newsroom. Iris, uh, deep discounts at Chipotle next weekend. I know. You know I'll be there. Are you going to be there? Yes, absolutely. Let's put it on our calendars. We'll both be there. A little lunch date. <laughs> well, you know what? The, you were talking about the Super Bowl, and well, the countdown to the Super Bowl has begun. Are you excited for that, Ashley? I am. I'm excited for the halftime show, which just I keeps know. getting more and more people added to it. So and you know, exciting. usually I am excited for the halftime show and all that, but I won't tell you who I'm going for because, you know, I just don't want you to get jealous because they're going to win. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> but like you said, there's people that watch the game and then there's others that are just watching for the commercials and the halftime shows. And speaking of halftime shows, let's take things back to 2004 with that infamous Janet Jackson halftime show performance that took place. Oh, yeah. Check I out. that. Yeah, we have video of it. Obviously not of what happened, but just some of the performance. It was on this day 12 years ago when Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake had that un unforgettable halftime performance but it wasn't unforgettable because of the actual performance if you were watching the show you know you know what I'm talking about the wardrobe malfunction that Janet Jackson experienced and right after that quote malfunction the FCC received over 500,000 complaints from mm. viewers and because of that they had to increase the fine per indecency violation from $27,500 to three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. So you know what? Everyone can thank Janet Jackson for that. You I can can't believe it was twelve years ago. It was twelve years ago, and I was doing the math. I don't want to tell you guys how old or how young I was, but I yeah, know. twelve My years goodness. ago. Can you believe that? Seems like yesterday, I, it was traumatizing, right? It was traumatizing, Shocking. yes it was. My mom covered my eyes, Mija, no, don't look, don't look. I know. <laughs> but you can check out that story and other events that happened on this day. Just go to our website, kvia.com, and scroll down to the slide so, slideshow section. Now we're going to switch gears, okay? We're going to talk about this crazy before, before weather. Before you do that, I just was told by the director, that was the last time the Panthers were playing in the Super Bowl as well. Oh, really? 12 years ago. Did they win that one? Uh, it, is he there? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Because they they're going to lose they this lost. one. Okay. So, I'm just kidding. I'm going to get all these Panthers fans, <laughs> this hate mail. Okay, but let's, go, let's switch gears to um, this crazy weather. Yeah. I, I don't like that wind, that cold. Uh -uh. But you know what? We warned everyone about it in advance. And we saw those changes that we were talking about from winds to rain to snow. We saw it all. Now, many of you have been sharing your weather pictures and videos with us on Facebook, Twitter, and through email. Thanks for that. Here's a look at a few from all over the city. The rain and snow may have pretty much cleared up, but you know what? We're still dealing with the cold and those heavy winds. My personal recommendation is just to stay inside or else you're going to end up in the same situation as some of these people on the video. Obviously, this video isn't from El Paso, but I just love that video. I saw it on Facebook <laughs> one time and they're just blowing all over the place. So you don't want to blow away. Just stay inside. Awesome. And if you want to see those pictures, you can check it out um, at our website as well. We have a slideshow, kvia.com. Thank you so much, Iris, for bringing us all that good stuff on our website. We will check in with you tomorrow. Yes, you Appreciate will. Appreciate it. All right. And we'll